Yo guys, welcome back to another video here at Trainer Journey on YouTube. Um, just before I get into this video, if you haven't as yet, be sure to follow me on my Instagram, which is traderjourney underscore official, and I'll be sharing some updates during the day over on there as well. So this video is just a follow up on yesterday's video as we discussed this particular play, which was a successful trade. And uh, I just want to talk you guys through the, the setup and the initial play and when I entered, when I exited and um, what the current situation is of the stock. So as you can see here, guys, from my technical analysis, the stock exited the previous bull flag, which was a previous range there. And that was that was there from the 11th of December. So as we exited, you could see it hit, immediately hit and there was a gap up throughout the weekend. And we could see that it went straight into that previous supply zone, which I mentioned on the previous video that if it breaks this supply zone, it will now become a demand zone and it's clearly held that demand zone. So for me, I will now be changing this to a demand zone and um, there we go. So now that demand zone, which we previously saw as it previously saw before the breakdown of the demand zone level on the 9th of December has now been reinstated. So for me, that is now a key level of demand. So I'll be watching that over the course of the next couple of weeks and I'll be making sure I make the most and exploit that level of demand. Now, um, what's interesting is, as you can see, AMD is now in a new level, which we previously seen as a level of supply, which is why I actually exited the trade for my profit. As, as I previously talked in the trade yesterday, that the trading plan was to hit this level and that was 94.24 and the, the price level hit perfectly to the T to the penny so i had no complaints whatsoever with the technical analysis which would be produced and um first profit target level hit which was 93.57 when that hit we saw a massive pullback and we previously previously saw at this level there is a bit of resistance so it was natural to expect a pullback but i wasn't expecting such a pullback back down to the level of demand but um if you had hit held this price level and you had made this price level accurately you would you would have ensured that it wouldn't have fallen below that so as you can see to the exact penny the the support level was was um, supporting the price there and the demand pushed the level straight back up now what's interesting about this trade guys is if you understand how stocks work and how supply and demand works when there's sellers if you're a seller you expect to see buyers and that allows liquidity if you're a buyer, you want to see sellers, which allows liquidity. This is this is an example of the auction process. Now, if if they're expecting or trying to expect a bigger move, you want to see some sellers step in to allow for that liquidity in the market for allow to allow the buyers to buy up those contracts now or that stock. So this is why you saw this pullback. Now, a lot of people would have been shaken out by this pullback and were maybe have got scared or there was fear in the market so they would have been stopped out here and this is the market playing some games so you need to understand the psychology of the market and why it does these things so if you had correctly leveled off your demand zones like i have here on the chart you would have known that if this level broke below it may have then become a supply zone like we previously saw here and it would have broken down but knowing from my technical analysis, this the particular setup that was here was very bullish, and um, we knew that as it as it held above this this area of demand, we expect it to reach the next profit target level. But as this as this sort of rejection came, a lot of people were being stopped out here. Now, for me, my stop loss was actually my stop loss had some wiggle room, which was ninety one ninety seven. So it allowed for any movement in the stock. Now, the reason why that is my stop loss is if you look back previously on the 8th of December, when we previously previously saw a similar move, we saw that the price actually did dip to 91.99, not only to then reject that level, but to then reverse and get back to the first the the highest and overall profit target so this was very interesting and i mean it just it just goes to show how technical analysis and these strong strong price levels always hit and always hold so if it had, if it had broken below and it had broken below my 91 97 i would have then become bearish on this stock but um judging from the previous setup i was had quite a good conviction that 
this this move was going to play out and uh, we'd previously seen this on three previous occasions so it was it was pretty much um it was pretty much there for the setup to to be taken so profit was there to be taken and uh, we capitalized on the move so if anyone watched the video yesterday i hope you went ahead with the play and um as i said guys if it had hit this stop loss level i would have been exited the trade but these price levels held exactly i mean you could even zoom in here and you can see that this price level was to the exact t there was no there was no um movement there and it, it held it properly and as it should and as soon as it hit it it reversed and that just shows how this was a clear level of demand that any price that enters here it was going to show level a, a certain level of buyers to push the price back out of that level and that zone and to reach the next profit target level so i'm really excited and really happy to see this play come out and i hope you guys capitalized and maximized your profits on this particular trade but um it's it's something for any new beginner trader out there you shouldn't need to be stopped out at any point here and you should be able to capitalize on these bigger moves now this this particular strategy as i said on my previous videos that you can replicate the strategy but you need to understand what patterns to look for what moves to look for and what zones are key key areas to look out for and it doesn't come it does come with practice but um, obviously need a certain level of mentoring to understand how these stocks move now each stock has its own way of moving this is how amd moves where you maybe have you may have to slightly adapt the strategy to ensure it works for any other particular stocks now i price my levels two two years out one year two years out that's why these price levels are so strong that they have they have been known to be historically strong price levels so that's a key key tip and key point for you guys to understand but um, it'll be interesting to see how amd plays out i'm totally sold out of this play i was happy with the profit target happy with the profit and i took the money off the table right now it's still in play the market's still open it looks like it's well within this supply zone if it breaks this complete supply zone which we've previously seen and it breaks into this new area this new unknown which is an all-time high then we'll be interested to see if we can maybe re-enter this play for some future some future all-time highs so that's really it guys i know a lot of you had um gone three weeks out which you've still been highly profitable on the trade what i would recommend is if you are looking to enter these sort of trades it's also nice to enter with a mixture of contracts so you might want might want to get one depending on how fast the stock is moving you'd get one at all time you get one at, at the money and then you would get one maybe two weeks out or three weeks out it just depends how fast the stock is moving but during looking at this range these stocks have moved pretty quickly now it looks like amd is definitely on a bull run right now but um, you don't want to be chasing stocks when they get to these sort of areas because like i said this is a heavy level of supply where suppliers are known that supply is exceeding demand here so we do expect this to sell back off but like i said the, the the volume is pretty low right now so i wouldn't expect this to reach any new all-time highs anytime soon but maybe in the next week we should see this make a much more significant move as you can see i this is live right now guys and um i have a price level here which is 94.69 and as you can see the price is being rejected the price is being rejected directly at that price level which is amazing so i mean it just goes to show that these price levels never miss um, and it's really interesting to see how based on a historical level it is still being rejected so it will be interesting to see what happens with this stock but i hope you guys enjoyed this video this just goes to show how important technical analysis is if anyone's new to this channel make sure you hit me up on instagram be sure to subscribe and i'll be ensuring to i'll be ensuring you guys that i'll be providing these certain plays in the upcoming days weeks months and years so be sure to follow and i'll be keeping you guys updated when i release a new discord chat which you guys will be welcome to join and uh, that will that will come alongside the website which will come in the form of a um which will also come in the form of a course which will be available for you guys to make the most of so thanks very much for watching i will catch you all on the next video take care goodbye